I'm going to talk today about encouraging yourself in the Lord. There are some great examples of encouragement in the Bible. Sometimes when we need encouragement from somebody else, it's hard to get it, isn't it? So we look to the scriptures to see where our encouragement comes from, and often it comes from the Lord. Let's go to the scripture, 1 Samuel 30. We're going to go from verse 1 to verse 4, encouraging ourselves in the Lord. It says, And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag, the Amalekites had invaded and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Uh, then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. See, maybe you today have tuned into this program and you've been weeping about something. Maybe the enemy's come in and he's taken many things from you. Maybe he's taken your family members away. Maybe you're praying for that loved one who needs to come to the Lord, but they won't seem to come. It seems, doesn't it, sometimes in our lives that the enemy comes in and he steals the very things that we care about. And we're left in a position where all we, all we feel like we're able to do is to just cry our tears away and to weep as David and the men did until he had no more power to weep. These men uh, had what we might call today a pity party. And isn't it so easy for us to do that when things are down, to start crying and weeping away? Well, in verse 6, it got even worse for David because what began to happen was after the people got really, really fed up is that they started to speak about stoning David. You know, in their minds, they were thinking it's David's fault. David is the reason why our families were taken away. And they really, really began to say horrible things about him. One of the things about when you need encouragement isn't it true that when you need encouragement, most of all, rather than people coming around you and rallying around you and giving you the strength you need, there's always a group that will turn against you. So it's almost like attack and depression are cousins that, that are related to each other and they work closely together and the whole purpose is to bring you down. Well, I pray today, if you're feeling down, that this message will lift your spirit up and that you won't be down and that you'll find a way to encourage yourself. Because as we read on after verse 6, it says that David, it says something so wonderful, David encouraged himself in the Lord. And you and I can do that. We go to the scriptures and when nobody else will encourage us, we read what the Bible says. We read the fact that the Lord Jesus says that he'll never leave us or forsake us. We read about the fact that his anointing is with us and wisdom is with us. And we find out that his presence with, with us is more than enough to encourage us. But what David did in, in the days when David was here was he sent for this thing called the ephod. And the ephod was a vest that was worn by the priests in Israel. It had stones on the front and on the inside it had two hidden stones. And those stones were called the Urim and the Thummim. And the idea behind them was that somehow these stones were able to speak. And so David, when he called for the ephod, he was going to make an inquiry of God and God was going to speak to him. I pray today that you will call on the Spirit of God. If you feel that you need encouragement, you'll call on the Lord and you'll say, God, speak to me. And I pray that the Spirit of Christ, that is the, the Urim and the Thummim in your life, will speak to you today. Listen, here are some points that will help you today if you feel down and if you feel discouraged. Number one, always encourage yourself through the Word of God. Go to the Scriptures, read what happened to Jesus. Believe me, Worse things happen to Jesus that could never happen to you. Look at the scriptures. Look at the end of the story. You've got something to rejoice about. Number two, don't have a pity party. It's so easy when things go wrong to start pitying yourself, feeling sorry for yourself, but don't go there. Hold yourself together with the word of God. Believe and trust in God as you read it and there will be a victory for you. Number three, remember light and truth. That Urim and Thumnim stand for and meant literally light and truth. Remember light and truth is on the inside of you through the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can look to that light and you can look to that truth to bring you through. Remember, God is always there for you. Even if it doesn't feel 
as if he's there. He's there somewhere. You just need to search for him. Search through the word. Search your heart. Ask God. Say, bring me the ephod. Bring me your presence that I may find you, Lord, because you're always there. Like he was for David, God is always there for you. And number five, the final point, remember this, just like David did in the end. God told him when he inquired of God, God told him, go up against this troop and I, you will surely recover all. Remember, you will recover all in the end if you don't faint and you don't give up hope. So encourage yourself in the Lord today. I pray that that will wake your spirit up and that whatever depression you're in, that it will go now in the name of Jesus. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.